Jeff inspired chicken pot pie right after this. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, the Empty Chef here in the Empty Kitchen at 5.07 in the morning. But I need to get the dough done before I, before I sleep, so. <clears throat> okay, if you remember correctly, I said I was going to do, uh, <laughs> ever since I did the diced potatoes, I'm finding them all over my apartment. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, there's a diced potato right there on the table. <laughs> Hi, just taking a second to say, if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe and ring that little bell because it really, really helps us out and it means a lot to me. Please leave comments. Let me know what I'm doing right. Let me know what I'm doing wrong and say whatever you want. Okay? I do read them. Okay. Back to our show. I remember that cup I had? I put the dice, uh, the, the, um, the, uh, Bozo, um, uh, Bruno. Uh, um, uh, damn it. I can't even think right now. The, the, the small, the really small dice. I put it in a cup. Well, I dropped the cup and it went everywhere. <laughs> I swept it all up, but I'm still finding little pieces everywhere. You know. So, um, we were going to originally do a sourdough ball and then cut off the top and then put our, our stew for our pot pie put our stew in the center of it and put the lid back on it and stick it in the micro uh, the, uh, the microwave. God. Uh, the air fryer. Uh, but uh, I decided not to do that because um, I forget what it's called. I think it's lem, lem, lem. But the, the yeast compound that makes sourdough takes like a week uh, to make from scratch which is what I do. I do stuff from scratch. And I didn't want to wait a week to make this because I already had the chicken cooked before I found this out. There's no way the chicken's going to be cooked and last in my fridge for a week. It's bad enough it's four days now. So, um, and this is it. This is the last thing done with that cooked chicken because if there's anything, and I mean anything left over, it's going in my mouth because it's not going on a video. The rest of that, ch uh, the chicken's four days old now, as it is, and it's been in the fridge, not in the freezer. So it's still, it's still edible. It's still moist, believe it or not. Because um, I, I, I don't believe it, but it is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I decided to go with a biscuit. Make a great big, make a big biscuit, and then cut the top off. I'll load out and put the stew in that and put the top back on, right? Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. But the thing is, we're going to make a weird shaped biscuit. Remember uh, in one of my videos, I happened to mention that canned meats, like uh, canned ham, canned click, canned and corned beef, uh, when you open them, they're the sharpest edge you're ever going to use. So keep the can for, for a cookie cutter. So that's what I did. I kept the canned ham that I opened last night. I kept it, washed it, uh, and I'm keeping it for a cookie cutter. I'm going to put it up in the cupboards. At, well, I'm going to use it, then I'm going to wash it again, then I'll put it up in the cupboards. But yeah, but they're the sharpest cookie cutters you're ever going to find. So what I'm going to do is, this is uh, this is this quick. So it's kind of just, uh, it's promoted as this quick, but really uh, it's a self-rising butter flour. Okay, uh, so it's used for making biscuits really quickly. And this package I bought at the dollar store, so I will say that our our uh, our um, our food bank uh, fare is being a little added to, but it cost me less than two dollars. I think it was a dollar seventy-five <coughs> for this, 
And this, they say it makes uh, a dozen uh, regular sized biscuits. But the thing is, I don't want a dozen biscuits. I want one big one and use it as a boat. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to put this in. Now I want this. This is full of butter as it is, okay? But I, I, I want to make it more than... I want to make it higher than a regular biscuit would be. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm adding a little more butter. Uh, this is uh, yeast and water. I guess it's been sitting too long because it's should be... No, it smells like it. It smells good. It smells ready. It's got that sour, yeasty smell, which is good. So this, all you gotta do is add one cup of water. So I'm adding one cup of water, but I'm, I put yeasty sugar in it. Well, I don't have. <laughs> I didn't cut it low enough. I don't. I, I don't have any sugar. I had to use sugar twin, but it didn't raise as much. Like it didn't get as foamy as I'd like, but it still works. So. You know, it is food bank stuff. We are doing with what we have and what we can do, right? Okay, so that's our biscuit in. And I am going to bed after I finish this because I am tired. I haven't slept since yesterday. So, or the day before yesterday. I, I don't, I don't freaking know. So... And because it's got those chunks of butter in there, oh yeah, I wanted a little salt too. So, I actually got a spoon here. I should use it. I was just going to put it in the palm of my hand and guess it, but, okay. No, there we go. Okay. All right. Because it's 5 o'clock in the morning, I'll fast forward this so you guys don't have to hear it. That is a really wet dough. Sorry. Blah, blah, blah. That is a really wet dough. Remember how I said don't do this? <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> Three, two, one. Just a little more. Just a wee bit more. That will do it. Okay, back to... That is a really wet, wet dough. I mean, if I was going to put them on a cookie sheet and just glop them onto a cookie sheet, then, okay, yeah, that would work, but that's not what I want to do, so, oh. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. You can definitely work with that. I need more flour. Okay, that's really wet. But I do have a lot. Ah, it's too wet. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Hey, guys. So, I'm here from now on. No more machines. I don't know. Maybe it's because of package. I don't have that camera on, so. Maybe it's because the package is... Yeah, there's no way that that's even close to three cups. 221 grams. Somebody want to do the conversion for me so I don't have to go over on the computer? <laughs> yeah, see, that's a dough. There we go. There we go. See, that's a dough I can work with. That goopy, goopy stuff may be okay for some people to put... Uh-uh, you know, just to make biscuits... To dump their tea in their tea or, or serve with uh, serve with sausage gravy if you're from the south. <laughs> I love 
biscuits and gravy. <laughs> oh my God, when I was down in Oklahoma, that's all I ever would eat was biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I was, uh, I was a network engineer and uh, I worked with Compact and one of my jobs was to, my job was to go around and set up call centers, you know, run, run the cabling and stuff like that and get it working and, and uh, you know, for X amount of however amount they wanted, you know, like 150 to 300. I think the biggest one we did was uh, up in Northwest Territories, which was a thousand. <clears throat> so, but, uh, but I would set up the servers and stuff like that. And, uh, so the one I was at, at in, uh, in Texas, and I forget the small name of the town in Texas, actually. It's a small town just on the Texas, uh, Oklahoma border. Anyway, um, so see, it's five o'clock in the morning. I completely forgot my story. Oh yes, so while I was down there, you know, uh, there was this little mom and pop restaurant, and uh, I'll put the name of it in the link because I can't remember it right now, but. Uh, I hope they're still around because it, it was really good. And, uh, well, I don't know if it was really good. I know their biscuits and gravy were really good because that's all I eat. <laughs> Man, you know? Because the only time I'd have time to go to the restaurant, you know, was in the mornings before work. So, and uh, down south, they like biscuits and gravy for, for breakfast, right? So, it's always on special on the menu and... Uh, so, I get the biscuits and gravy, and I just friggin' loved it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot a step. I'm not a baker. I'm a chef. I'm not a baker. Oh, well, I'm an anti chef. I'm an anti chef. I'm not a baker. There we go. Okay. Now, um, the thing is, no, it's gonna go back in the bowl for a minute, because I need to add these. These are, these are mini diced uh, potato, just to add color to our dough. And this is uh, diced ham, or not diced, but um, Bernays, Bernays, Bernois, Bernois, that's it, Bernois. Benoit, I uh, know Benoit, no, Bernois, Bernois, yeah. So Bernois, potatoes, ham, and carrots. And I don't care if I get it all in the dough because I don't need it all, but just to get some color to the dough is good enough for me. But don't worry, I'll throw it in the soup or something. <laughs> I don't waste nothing in this kitchen. See, yeah, that's good. Okay. Get it in there so it doesn't drop. So it doesn't... Well, maybe I will get it all in there. Hi. Don the Anti-Chef here. We joke around a lot on this channel, we have a lot of fun, but I'd like to get serious for a second. The Ottawa Food Bank. If you live in this city, you either use their service or you know somebody who does, whether you know it or not. It's not always easy to talk about not having enough food to eat or not having enough food to feed your family. But you're saying to yourself, I'm only one person, what can I do? Well, everyone counts. Everyone in this world counts. So, even if you just have a little food to spare, or some time on your hands, volunteer. Or if you have a bit of money, 
donate what you can. They'll take anything. They need the help. We need the help. Help your community. The Audible Food Bank. It's a good place to start. Okay. There we go. Okay. So. Okay. Now, uh, one thing I do know about biscuit dough <coughs> from my mom, or rather from my grandmother, because my mom couldn't cook. <laughs> she could bake, but she couldn't cook. Uh, but uh, one thing I knew from biscuit dough from the women in my family <laughs> is uh, you don't need it too much. You don't need it as much as bread dough. So... I am going to, like, I'm trying to make a, a little cross between a loaf of bread and a biscuit. So, like, I want the light airiness of a biscuit, but I want the size and, and, and consistency of a ball of bread. I want to be able to move it like a ball of bread. So, I'm going to put that, I'm going to call that done. I don't want to over knead it. See, isn't it pretty with the color in it? Little bits of ham and carrot and some potato. Now, if it didn't have the biscuit mix in it, and I made this with a real loaf of bread, just like, uh, you know, uh, my regular loaf of bread, which is four ingredients. Mm -hmm. You know, salt, sugar, uh, yeast, flour, and water. That's it. Okay, five ingredients, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just playing with it. I'm just, I'm just rolling it around. All the cooks are there. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just playing. Okay, it's five o'clock in the morning. Give me a break. <laughs> so, anyway... So there's our biscuit dough. I'm gonna let it rise till morning. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get some sleep because I need it. That needs to be washed. That needs to be washed. These need to be washed. This uh, half of that will be added to my to my stew tomorrow. Well, maybe not half, but uh, a good quarter of it will be added to my stew tomorrow to make my roux. And. Uh, my fellow YouTubers, you know who you are. A roux is butter and and flour in a pan on the stove. <laughs> okay? You need the browning process uh, to call it a roux. Otherwise, it's a lion. And if it's a lion, it's just an additive to a soup. Okay? Excuse my French, I don't speak French. If I pronounced it wrong, I apologize. Anyway. So that's my dough. I'm going to bed. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Okay. And there is our biscuit. <laughs> A wee bit overdone. <laughs> I took it out um, five minutes ago and did a temperature test and it was just under 190. So I put it back in, and now all my little bits of carrot and uh, meat are burned on. But it looked beautiful. I should have took a picture. I should have took a picture. Wasn't done yet, but I should have took a picture. Come on. There we go. Okay. I don't want to poke a new hole in it. It's 
rising. It's rising, guys. It's rising. <laughs> It's at 152, 153, 155, 156. Hey, Don the Anti-Chef here. Listen, while you're enjoying our show, if you're a home cook or just a, a fellow anti-chef and you think you have some good, cheap recipes that you'd like to share, why not come on our show? Why not be a guest? Come be an anti-chef <laughs> for a day, okay? Uh, take my challenge, which is uh, a meal for four under ten dollars, uh, and and talk about while you're cooking. Talk about whatever you want to talk about. Talk about what gets you in the community. What what you want to see in your community. Talk about your charity, your favorite um, donation program. Uh, how you help the community talk about whatever you want to talk about okay over here um, over here <laughs> is how to contact me okay uh, uh, my email address is d underscore wellborn at live.com and um, under that if you're more courageous my Facebook so come chat on messenger I'm always on so you know if I'm off it's because I'm recording so I turn it off so it doesn't make noise but but <clears throat> try me again in an hour. More than likely, I'll be back on. Okay? So if you like this show, if you like what it stands for, you know, why not be a guest? Take my challenge and try your best, okay? The, uh, eventually, I will have uh, prizes for guests who uh, take the challenge and win it, which is you got to bring uh, $10 worth of food, have to have the receipt for it, uh, uh, that it's only ten dollars only use what you brought and make a meal for four with something left over it doesn't matter what's left over just something left over okay so I just wanted to say that now back to our show thank you yeah I'm gonna turn it your way so and I'll just wait and then you guys tell me when it's uh, if it's at the right temperature or not <laughs> Mm, what's that? I should check on it now. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will. No, you lied. It's not. It's not there yet. It's still going. What the hell? What the hell, guys? That camera is cutting off my head. I work on that. I work on that. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to move it. We are at one sixty-three point nine. Well, it comes out clean, so you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. All right. <laughs> Cameras are on. <laughs> you want to come through and uh, I'll just cut? Go ahead. Go hey, guys. Sorry about that. My friend Amanda came over. And, and you guys know Amanda. She's shy as anything. So this is kind of a disappointment. I mean... I expected something a lot higher, and I think if I had got it in the oven and hadn't let the yeast sit around it, if it hadn't sat around so long last night, it would have been a lot higher, but it's still going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my really sharp fish knife, because this one's about as sharp as it gets, and uh, I don't expect it to do the best job. That's why I've got my uh, bread knife here. I just want to... Get a nice topping all the way around and keep it even. But I just want to cut through this hard crust. And it is a nice, crispy, hard crust. So, I just want to get that all done. Uh, I can't even see where it started. The knife is so fine. Okay, it's over here. Okay. Oh, it did work. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, okay, all right. I guess I don't need the bread knife. Okay, wow, look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Is that not beautiful with the ham 
and, and the carrots and the potatoes. Is that not beautiful? Huh? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let this cool off so I could uh, so I could empty it, and then we're gonna make our stew and we're gonna fill it with our pot pie stew, and then we're just gonna pop that back on, and it's going to be oh, it's going to be a lovely little Irish dinner for for one <laughs> or two or three. <laughs> We'll cut it up and we'll share it, maybe. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I will. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, terribly sorry about this. I don't know what happened to my sound. But, uh, I don't want to waste the video or, you know, I, I've got to show you guys at least what happened with the last of the chicken, so... Um, yeah, okay, so, yeah, th that's one of my old, that's one of my knockoff of knockoff GoPros that is up in the corner, and you can see the quality, even at two feet, is not that great, but it works, you know it works, so, uh, until I get something better. I think that's where my cell phone is going to end up going, is I'm going to buy an attachment that clips on uh, from uh, Amazon and just clip my cell phone permanently on the hood of the uh, of the stove so that it's always facing down, you know. Um, I, might, I might buy just a cheap cell phone just to do that with, you know, <laughs> just to leave it there. And, uh, yeah. But the bread turned out beautifully. Amanda, with her delicate little fingers, ended up picking all the bread out of the, uh, <laughs> without ruining the crust at all. So that was awesome. Uh, she even uh, got the top of the crust, it's all flat underneath. Um, so like, there's lots of room for stew inside that, that bread bowl, which is basically what it is right now, it's just a big bowl. and. Uh, so the stew is going on now. I'm making my roux, and you can see I used a lot of butter in my roux, <laughs> um, and I wanted to use up as much of that flour as I could. I still have half a cup of flour, or a little more than half a cup of flour, in the fridge, but I'm going to use that today because I'm going to make an apple pie with the apples from the food bank. So. Um, Amanda was nice enough to bring me some sugar, so I, I do have sugar to, for the apple pie, so that's awesome. Plus, I, I, I forgot that I had, um, I forgot that I had icing sugar, which could have worked too. Would have been a really sweet apple pie, but <laughs> I could have, I could have used it. Um, the, um, out of coffee. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Well, at least I got my last sip. You know, that leprechaun didn't get my last sip. Uh, <laughs> how many times have you picked up your coffee cup and went for the last sip and it's gone, right? It's the leprechaun. I swear to God, it's the leprechaun. <laughs> and if I ever catch that thieving bastard, I'll rip his arm off. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I um... So to avoid using water at first with the roux, after the roux was uh, like a blanc, um, I, I put in the juice from the peas, the juice from the um, hearts of palm, uh, the asparagus I left alone because my daughter was coming the next day, which is today, and uh, it, it didn't work out. But um, she was supposed to come today, so I wanted to keep the asparagus for her because. Uh, she she likes asparagus. So I, I just take those out so I can get the clumps out of the roux for a few seconds. Uh, and the mixture. And get my, my, my sauce to a nice velvety con consistency. And believe me, with that much butter in it, it is a nice velvety consistency. Uh, it's it's salty. It's it's nicely salted. It's it's buttery. I mean, it, it's better than the than the stew that you get in the little dollar ninety nine pot pies. 
I mean, <laughs> I will put my Popeye up against one of those any day of the week. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I've got to talk here for like 20 minutes, <laughs> which is not a problem for me. <laughs> Ask anybody, they'll tell you. <laughs> but I got I to gotta talk over this while I'm doing this. And uh, I, I tried, guys. I tried to get these two videos in sync uh, so many times, and I just, I gave up. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, uh, I'm, I'm about two and a half seconds behind in the top video than I am in the big video. So, I don't know. I, I'm just learning DaVinci, so DaVinci Resolve. So, I'm just learning how to use that editing software. So, I gotta put up with uh, a little bit of foibles once in a while, you know. Or foibles. Foibles is what it's called. Yeah. 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 She also brought that bottle of pop that you see in the fridge, which is awesome. <laughs> I'm diabetic. I'm not supposed to have pop, but <laughs> I can't help myself. I like it too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I end up, yeah, I, I don't use the asparagus, but I, I do use the juice from the hearts of palm, and, and I do use half of the can of peas and the pea juice. But I put the pea juice in first, and then I put the half can of peas in when I put the dice in, uh, the, the dice vegetables, and the garlic and the onion. And, and, um, and I, I'm not sure if I got that on camera or not. I'm pretty sure I do, but we'll see. Yeah, so I used a little bit of water first. I didn't think I did. I thought I used the juice first, but yeah, there's the juice from the peas. I thought I used the juice first and then then added water, but I guess I did it the other way around. So anyway, <coughs> so yeah, it turns. See that? It's still a little clumpy there. But we get it a nice velvety consistency. I mean, it turns out beautifully. And um, when I let it simmer, which I will do in a bit, uh, I turn off the cameras and everything like that. And I let it simmer for about 20 minutes. You know, on very low heat. Uh, I, I got it on one or two. If you look at the knob there, you can actually see it. And there's the juice from the hearts of palm that I'm adding. Yeah, I tried it first. Because <laughs> I've never tried Hearts of Palm, so I... I and it kind of... Um, kind of reminded me of uh, a cross between uh, like like um, an unsweetened pea water and 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 um, and, and uh, cantaloupe. Like, like an unripe cantaloupe, you know? It's not quite sweet yet, but it's got that fresh, fresh taste to it. So I think I'm going to be using Hearts of Palm more often because uh, they're actually, they remind me a lot of, um, oh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Those little, those little round slices of uh, uh, potato that you find in, in salads. Once in a while. Water chestnut, that's it. They remind, me, they remind me a lot of water chestnut. Matter of fact, they have a very, very similar flavor to water chestnut. So, so if you can't find water chestnuts or you don't have them, hearts of palm, you know, that, that will work. You know, even, they're even uh, mandolin the same way. They're cut the same way, so. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See there, there, isn't that a beautiful consistency? Look at that. Look at that. That's a beautiful cream sauce right there. I mean, that's... Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to lie and say it looks like a beautiful Bernays, but no, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so... Even the anti-chef exaggerates once in a while. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going on about a rant something or other here. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, I'm going to put the uh, 
the bouquets back in. I used two bouquets. One, one, uh, one is all just chicken and chicken skin and chicken bones, and the other one has uh, carrots, uh, a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, onion peel, garlic peel. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, the end of the cucumbers. Um, yeah, that's. It. I think that's about it. And, and some bones, and some chicken bones. So, so I, I still have two of these bags left in my freezer well, of different different ingredients for stews. You know, and either one of them would work for for any super stew. So. So but these two, uh, these two bags, I'm gonna uh, when when this stew is done, it's in my fridge right now. I was I, I was gonna get a bowl and sit here and eat <laughs> while you guys watch this, <laughs> but I'm not that cruel. So I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh, I had some more water. Okay. Not too much. Not too much. There we go. Okay. Mm. Mm. I don't know. That may, well, it's going to boil down, so. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I, I, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> See, that's the thing about getting old. You forget what you're saying. <laughs> that's okay. So, yeah, I was going to have a bowl of stew and talk to you guys, but I'm not that cruel, so. So, I'm going to put that aside, that beautiful bread bowl. And see? Look inside, see? It's, uh, it's, it's see, it's all been, yeah, <laughs> there you go. It's all been eaten away, <laughs> and, well, I cut it first, so there, there was an edge, so she could work her way to the edge, but, yeah, she helped herself to the bread and that. And I'm just going to put the knives away. And now I'm going to cut up the potatoes. Now, the the water you saw me drain into, uh, put into the pot from the potatoes, it's it's not just potato water. It's uh, the chicken water from uh, in the fridge, too. So the water that I had the chicken in to keep it plump, uh, I, 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 when I chopped up the chicken, I put it in a bowl, and that water, I put the potatoes in it. So it, it's got... A little bit of everything flavor into it that's gonna make my sauce like nah, you know uh, so that's, that's exactly what's going on here um, and, and it's on a very low low heat so it's gonna come to a very slow boil but it's a beautiful looking cream sauce and it's, uh, it, it turned out it, it really really well God damn it. Leprechauns. Leprechauns stole my coffee. <laughs> no, I remember having the last sip. So it's not a leprechaun this time. I can't believe the leprechauns. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, this is how lazy I am. I got like three or four bags around the house that I use for like emergency garbage. And then every, every now and then I just go with a big garbage bag and collect all the little bags and put them in. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I can't go like five feet without hitting a garbage. I got one by the stove, one by the sink, one over by the bathroom, and and one right beside, well, right under my desk, where I'm sitting right now. So yeah, yeah. I'm just giving my knife a little quick sharpen uh, because uh. It's uh, I have two sharpeners uh, one. I use every three months one. I use uh, <coughs> Almost every second or third day, and then I have my honing steel uh, My the one I use every three months takes basically all day and I do I take the whole day and I sharpen my knives and uh, And it's a it's an oil uh, It's an oil stone usually with most chefs will uh, prefer a water stone but uh, I like the oil stone, um, so it makes me feel like I'm actually taking care of the knives, you know. Whereas, you know, to me, in my mind, water equals rust, <laughs> and oil equals preserve. So, 
Uh, speaking of preserve, this I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but this cutting board that I'm using right now, I either got to do something with it or it's going to be on its last legs very soon because it's starting to crack. It's um, it, it's it's kind of old and it's kind of cheap, so. I mean, it's not a, a good cutting board, so. So I'm cutting up scraps so I can do a dice, because uh, um, I want to be able to pick and choose from the stew, and pick all the best diced vegetables and put that in my pot pie. <coughs> um, I will tell you guys, at the end of the video, it's kind of a little bit of a letdown, it's kind of a little bit... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just saw the plop plop from the soup, and I'm wondering what fell in. I forgot that I was throwing throwing potatoes in. From <laughs> but anyway, uh, the, the end is kind of a letdown because um, the last 20 minutes, my, my I don't know why I didn't use my tripods. I have no idea, but I asked Amanda to hold my camera and point it at me well, I, you know, took the stew out of the pot and poured it into the bowl and then uh, took some uh, cheddar cheese and, and, and a grater and garnished the stew and then closed the top of the, the top of the bread and then garnished on top of that. And, um, and she was there holding it like this, you know, the way she, because the, uh, the base part of the camera faces you know the person is holding it and I use the back camera because that's that's the better camera and uh, so I'm told uh, so um, so I thought she was filming me I, I, I really did I thought she was filming me but turns out when I when I put it in my computer I had 20 minutes of Amanda looking like <laughs> and just like that <laughs> just a real dumb look on her face for like 20 minutes <laughs> so I was really mad really mad but um, I worked around it I worked around it you'll see at least I got the vo the voice you know at least I got the vocal um, from the other phone so <coughs> So that should kick in here uh, right after I, well, I gotta chop these vegetables and then um, after I chop the vegetables, everything go, the, the, all my miso blocks that I made earlier, uh, I'll pull it out and I'll, I'll throw that in the soup too. I, I tend to, uh, when I'm making stews and soups, I tend to put the starches in first because they take the longest to cook. So uh, starches and, and like carrots. That sort of thing. Uh, beans, if I'm throwing beans in something, they go in first because uh, they take the longest to cook. So, and what I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm just taking scraps here, and I'm trying to take the, the, the best of the scraps and just turn them into something that's remotely uniform, so they, so they tend to cook at the same speed. Um, but, uh, I, mean, I mean, it's nowhere close to uniform, it's nowhere close to a good chef's cut, but, but it's better than big friggin' chunks, you know, so. And you'll notice I leave the skins on my potatoes. I wash them real good, I scrub them with a, a wire scrub brush that I have in that bucket back there. Uh, so that they're they're scrubbed real good but I, I tend to leave the skins on because it's the only part of the potato that actually has any nutrients that you can use uh, otherwise it's just a big bowl of starch right so yummy yummy starch but a big bowl of starch so I, I tend to keep the potato skins on whenever possible you know I mean, if you're making something like, uh, 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 see, the thing, the difference between a pot pie stew and just a regular, uh, regular stew is, uh, a pot pie stew is meant to show off. Like everything should be properly diced, every or, or 
uh, or Brunois or um, you know or Julianne and, and everything should be done that way you know and everything uniform and nice and that's what makes a good puck pie stew you know and that's why you call the puck pie stew because it's 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 stew with love it's it's actually taken care of it and, but um but like i said this is fast and dirty so so this is uh just regular kitchen sink soup uh, stew in a pot pie shell <laughs> with a really really good uh with a really really good uh, um um sauce so I just saw a potato fall between my stove and my counter, and I don't remember cleaning that. So uh, that's going to be my job today is go get that piece of potato. <laughs> so I'm going to have to move the stove and go get the piece of potato. What am I after now? Get out of the fridge. <laughs> what? Oh, did I put something away or... Okay, alright. So, I, I'm probably just going to let it cook here for a bit with the potatoes in it. And then I'll add my... Uh, oh, I'm tasting a taste. I see, okay. See, now the one above is actually ahead of the one below, which was not the case when we started. So, um... Yeah. So when I take a taste, usually, yeah, I was going to say, did I not season? Because usually if I take a taste, I season. So, oh, I'm being very picky. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing, okay. All right. So garlic powder, uh, onion salt, uh, that's uh, savory salt. Um, so uh, basil, and I guess a little thyme. And, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. There we go. There, there, there's the, uh, the basil. Look at that stew. Look at that. It's still a little thin for a pot pie. Just give it some time. Give it some time. Um, but, uh, I mean, it comes out nice and thick and perfect for a pot pie. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to test it again. I'll probably test it twice. No. Did I take a spoonful for Amanda? I know there's one shot somewhere where I take a spoonful and pass it to Amanda. That's it. There you go, yeah. Then I get a clean spoon and I get it for Amanda. To go and try it. And <laughs> she goes and screws up the last of my video, so she doesn't deserve it. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, uh, once the pot pie is finished and I took a picture of it and everything like that, I slid the plate over to Amanda. So, and she goes, well, you're going to cut it or anything? I said, no, no, I'll just help yourself and I'll take what's left over. There is basically nothing left over. <laughs> I got a quarter of the shell and I had to add more stew to it because all the stew was gone. <laughs> there was only a little bit of the shell left. <laughs> she went to town on that boy. <laughs> This from a girl who says, oh, I won't eat canned ham. Yuck. Ew. But, uh, uh, she, she polished it off. <laughs> canned ham and all. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot. I don't have my teeth in. Oh, yeah. You know, every, you know what, just looking at that, I want to make some pea soup. I really do. <laughs> I want to make some pea soup now. It, it's a perfect color for a nice pea soup, a yellow blonde pea soup, you know. And I keep tasting the sauce. <laughs> I know it's a chef's prerogative to taste the sauce, but uh, 
<laughs> I tasted a little too much, I think. <laughs> no. I don't know. I'm talking to her about something. I have no idea. But, you know me, my lips are always flapping, so... <laughs> My daughter would be saying, you should tell a story. <laughs> I can't think of one right now. Uh, to tell you the truth, guys, I, I, um, I slept all day by accident. I didn't mean to, but um, I woke up at like 4.30, 6.40 now. Uh, yeah, so I'm still a little, you know, I've only had one cup of coffee. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm between awake and uh, and wonky right now. So that's the remote for the main camera. So I guess I, I cut it here and then there we go. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, I got the miso blocks on the table now. Oh, I got the carrots in my hand. So carrots in first because they take the longest to cook. And then the ham, and then the uh, potatoes. I think the onion and garlic is already in there. I'm pretty sure it is because I would have started with the small dishes first. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna give that a good stir. Yeah. And again, we're out of time from the top movie, but like way out of time apparently. This must have been while I had the other camera off, so you're just going to see it bubble over and boil over and before anything was added, when it was just uh, a nice, nice, um, nice sauce, so. <coughs> but the last part of the movie should be coming up very soon, and when that happens, I'm going to shut up and let, them, let the rest of the video play because uh, there's, there is sound to the last half of the movie so so <laughs> mm, yummy oh that's good stuff yeah yeah mm, gotta try that again yeah <laughs> you're supposed to change your spoon between sips asshole <laughs> yeah Gordon would be yelling at me for sure <laughs> oh well. I seen him do it too, you know. <laughs> Mister, I don't use canned foods. I, I, I change my spoon between between <laughs> every sip. I've seen him use the same spoon once. Hey guys, time. welcome back. So this is the end Bye, guys. of our of our um of our pot pie. Uh here's our crust. And we take off the lid. Our stew. That's going into our pot pie. And of course, yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, well. So. That was my camera shutting off because it's dead. That's why I'm filming on my other camera. And Amanda's nice enough to hold it for me while I do this. So, there is our stew. We've got one pea on the plate, which actually looks pretty good. So, I'm going to put a carrot and some. Along that way, maybe just a little bit. Of, there we go. And like that, that, or crust over top. And now, we're just a wee bit of cheese garnish. And we're just going to let this fall where it may. I don't want 
too much, but we just want enough orange zest on top a little bit. Okay. okay. Close it up. Turn it a little bit. Orange zest. Of cheese instead of lemon. <laughs> There we go. And there is our pot. Oh, wrong. And there is our pot pie. Our right, goodbye from Don and Sandy Kitchen. I am your host, Don, the anti chef, well worn. And remember, guys, you have value, you have worth, and you deserve a place in this world. So find that one thing that's going to get you out of bed every day and stick to it. You don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I'm here. I'm pulling for you. I'll take care of you. See you next time. Bye-bye.